Have you just gotten a job as a programmer or have you already started your first week or maybe tomorrow is your first day? No matter the case, you come to the right place because in this video I will share with you my experience from my first week as a programmer. In this video I will share with you my 5 favorite tips to make your first week as a programmer as easy as possible and at the end I'll also share with you the big mistake I've made during my first week as a programmer, so stick around for that. Now, I'm currently a student. I'm doing a business IT degree, which is a combination of 50% technology and 50% business. So I know I've learned a bit of programming, but not too much. I've only spent maybe 100 hours programming before. And this summer, like today and yesterday, and for the next coming weeks, I've been employed as a C++ slash cute programmer, meaning I will develop programs in a programming language called C++, and I'll work with the cute framework, which is like to create graphical user interfaces using C++ essentially. I've never written C++ before. In my business IT degree, I learned a bit of Python, which has been very useful. I've used that a lot as I've been trying to learn this new programming language but all programming languages are pretty similar they're just different accents pretty much now i just came home from my third day as a programmer so it's wednesday today i started monday and i've been writing code for all of these three days my task at the company is to maintain a client a server and a database that handles specific things it's like a 10 year old combination of applications and they need to be updated improved have bug fixed and that's the kind of thing i do and i work on this task alone by myself and this sort of leads me on to the first question that you may have if you're watching this video and that is will i have to write code on my first day and probably not because most particularly field work at a big company will have a pretty long onboarding process which is where they'll make you read policy documents and sign things and get keys that kind of thing i had to do that too but it only took half a day so i only spent about four hours with the onboarding experience and then i was ready to code so for my first day i only worked seven hours because i was tired at the end but i was onboarded for four hours i was reading policy documents that kind of thing setting up my environment and then i was coding for three hours on the first day so that's my experience at a small company and yours may vary but that's at least how it was for me and that leads us on to the first point of that with vi this video and that is that you will likely not build something from scratch like maybe ever during your programming career. In school, at least for me, we were very focused on building things from scratch. We were always creating new code, building new applications, but that doesn't happen a lot when we're actually working as programmers. In real life, at the job, like in the big world, there's usually someone else's code or program kind of thing that we have to maintain. For example, with the thing I'm doing with the client server database, it was written by someone else 10 years ago, and now I'm tasked with updating it and making sure it becomes modern. So the things we learn at school, sure they're useful, but we rarely use the skills of building something from scratch. It's much better to, if you got your first week soon, you need to mentally prepare to maintain someone else's code because that's likely what you will be doing. So having some experience building things from scratch is useful, but there will be lots of learn when you reach the real world because no doubt you'll have to work with someone else's code at some point. The second thing you need to know to make your first week as a programmer easier is to have the right mindset and that is that it is challenging to code, it is hard, but it's very rewarding and it's never impossible. There will always be a solution. Either you solve it or you will solve it soon. You will always find a way to fix it, essentially. Programming is kind of bipolar. You work on one thing for a really long time, maybe four or five hours or maybe four or five days, and you just don't get anywhere. And suddenly you have this epiphany where you're like, oh, dang, that's how I was supposed to do it. And that's happened to me during my first uh, uh, three days that I've had now where I'd be stuck on the same thing for hours and it would frustrate me and I'd get mad and sad and then I'd just solve it, just clicks and I'm like, dang, that felt really good. That was like, it, it very nice to actually solve the problem. And so one thing I realized it, that, that is that sure, we write a lot of code, but we also spend a lot of time learning, reading documentation, reading tutorials, r reading other people's code, trying to understand what they've been creating. The way it works is that typically when you program, you work a lot by yourself. You Sure, you may work in a team, but you create your own thing, you're responsible for your own part of the code. And the way I work is that I've got a bug tracker. So I see, okay, we've got this bug that someone reported. I then try to find it in the code and understand how uh, the way someone else created that bug, essentially. Then I learn how to fix it and then I write the code. So writing the code is only like 20% of the entire process, if that makes sense. And that leads us on to the third tip that I was going to give you today to make your first week as a programmer easier. And that is to like use ChatGPT or other 
uh, GPT tools to make your programming faster and to make it easier for you as well. ChatGPT will often give you faster and better answers than the actual documentation will give you. But I just prefer using ChatGPT. It, it, it's very correct, not always, but most of the time. And it's a lot faster and it's more specific. ChatGPT is able to write the entire code for you, although I wouldn't necessarily suggest that because it's been wrong a lot of the times I've tried to do that. So I prefer to ask it for step-by-step -step instructions on how to build something and then I just look at the instructions from ChatGPT and I code it myself and then you can let like ChatGPT verify and optimize your code. But ChatGPT saves me so much time every day like I, I would say it literally saves me between one and two hours every single workday. It may seem obvious to use ChatGPT when we code, but most programmers I know don't actually use it. So this is a tip for you. Get familiar with using it because it will save you a lot of time. And then for the next tip, tip number four, is that it's okay to be bad. You will be bad. You will suck your first week. You'll probably suck your first month. And, and even if you're programmed before, with every new job comes new languages, new tools, new environments. You'll have to maintain someone else's code. It's it's hard. It's not easy being a programmer. That's why we're paid so well. And for the first couple of days, for the first weeks, as you learn something new, you will be really bad at it. You will be, make errors, you'll make big mistakes, and you just do things the wrong way. And other people will complain and be like, hey, that's not a very good code, fix it. And that's okay, because each time we make a mistake, we get better and the process gets easier. Because as I said, in university I learned Python, and then three days ago I started as a C++ developer, and I'd never written a line of C++ code before. So I tend to use this mindset whenever I get to work, it's like, okay, what do I need to do today? Okay, it's this thing which I may or may not have used before. And I'll just either, if I know it, I'll do the thing I need to do, or if I don't know how to do it, I'll learn how to do it. That's how it works. That's the mindset we need to have as programmers. We need to be willing to learn all the time. As programmers, we need to be patient and persistent whenever we get stuck and just never give up because there is, you can always Google things, ask Shepard ChatGPT and also ask your colleagues who have, uh, if it's your first week, they probably worked there for longer than you have and they, you know, got some experience. The fifth thing I want to give to you is to take really good care of yourself, especially during the first week because it's very tough, especially if you had some time off or you're not used to working full time. The things I've done for this first week is to make sure I sleep nine hours every single night. I try to eat like higher quality foods than normally, put some effort into it. And I'm also trying to do things I like. Like for example, right now it's 9 p.m. I got home from work two hours ago and I'm recording a YouTube video because it's something that I really enjoy doing. Those are some things you can do to take care of yourself. And now it's time for me to tell you about the big mistake that I made during my first week as a programmer. So I was tasked with improving this client server data database thing and I got a bug list of okay these are like 10 bugs you need to fix and I'm like okay I'll get started with it and so Monday I fixed two bugs yesterday I fixed two bugs and today Wednesday I fixed another two bugs and so now I've fixed in total six big bugs by myself in my program and if you're an experienced program programmer you will already know right now what kind of mistake I've made and as it turns out when I was showing my colleagues just casually what I did they told me that oh man you've done something completely wrong here we need to change this. And the thing I did wrong was to never commit my changes, each bug one by one, to GitHub so that each bug would be documented by itself. And the point of that is to not make too big changes before we push it to the cloud or to deployment or whatever we're doing with it. So it's easier to retrace our steps if we screw something up. And also for each bug that I fix, remember I fixed six. So after each bug, I was supposed to ask someone to review it, to look at the code, see how we could improve it or if it's completely wrong just remove it so we do that for one bug right i fix the bug and then someone else looks at it and then we push it right so we make it official and then i move on to the next bug because this next bug may be dependent on this bug that i fixed over here which i didn't do i completed the six bugs just straight away all in a row and it's all in the code right now and now i had to spend two hours just trying to separate every single bug into its own thing and tomorrow morning I'll go and do a code review with a colleague about it. Now it's it's not entirely my fault, I didn't know, I did my best, I thought I did everything right, but now I know that that's not how I'm supposed to do it at least. So this may differ in your workplace, but when you get there your first day, just ask about like code review, how much should I write before I push it, uh, that kind of thing. Now obviously this was not too bad, I mean I'll there are worse mistakes and I'll probably make worse mistakes, definitely, without a doubt. But for now, this is the worst thing I've done and, and the best thing we can do when we mess up, which I did and will do, and you also will do and probably already have, is to admit our mistakes right away. So what I did when I discovered this was I told my colleagues and my boss straight away, like, yo, I screwed this up. 
can you help me fix it? And they sat down patiently for like half an hour with me and we just sorted it out and they showed me how to fix it and I spent an extra two hours fixing it. So, you know, if it's your first week, people are, they understand it's your first week. They understand it's tough to start a new job, especially if you've not really programmed before. Uh, if you've got your first day tomorrow or you're already in your first week or maybe your first week is soon, then I really wish you good luck. It's tons of fun. It's a very rewarding career. And just relax throughout it because I know you'll do well if you got the job. If you like this video, you can check out this video in which I explain in detail how I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel in a very smart and interesting way you may not have thought about before. So check that out next. And until then, take care and I hope it helped.